the history of printing in East Asia, a long history, is intricately bound up with the history of the circulation of religious thought. Uh, in the case of China, that's Buddhism. Like with Western societies, uh, Europe and Christianity, uh, Buddhist temples uh, had access to the best technology available uh, in order to help print uh, sutras and other texts in order to spread these ideas. And this volume, this remarkable volume, uh, is a real testament to that. It is one volume from a edition of sutras which was printed uh, at the Yuanjie Temple in Huzhou, and this particular printing comes from the middle of the 13th century, so around 1250. So what was happening at the Yuanjie Temple is that in the 12th century, uh, they began to carve woodblocks of these sutras, these sutras that had come over from India and then uh, had had their own kind of sinicized Chinese commentarial uh, tradition. The woodblocks were carved and then printings were taken for the next hundred years or so. And this uh, looks like a later printing from the, the appearance of the characters. There is some degradation on the, the woodblocks which are visible. The Mongol invaders uh, to China uh, burned the woodblocks in the late 13th century, so that provides us an absolute cut-off date for this particular uh, edition. As you can see, it, it's very fragile, but it survived remarkably well. It still has its original kind of brown wallet binding here, which is uh, strengthened by a bamboo uh, rod. Uh, and texts like this would have been uh, used by monks and, and aspiring uh, uh, Buddhist uh, practitioners, uh, kind of uh, reciting these these mantras uh, uh, as um, uh, have been done for, for centuries before them. Bibliographers in China have located some uh, Yuanjie volumes uh, at the National Library of China, but really something like this is now uh, exceptionally scarce, uh, particularly uh, in anything like this condition.